What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield The Crown Tundra DLC tip video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exact location on where you can go and use Dynamite Ore to grab yourself an ability capsule or an ability catch as well as being able to purchase a beast ball. Yes, you heard it right. You are able to buy beast balls inside a Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Crown Tundra DLC. Now, you get access to this shop very early on in the game. It's so ridiculous and so convenient as well. Once you enter the slippery slope of the Crown Tundra, which is the first area the, where the train station is at in the game, you head over to the Max Lair, you get access to the max layer again basically the first thing you have to do inside of the story i'm not gonna have any spoilers here if you are watching and you haven't played the crown tundra dlc this is gonna stay spoiler free but then once you head inside of the max layer you speak to the lady on the right she says i got some wonderful items to offer in exchange of dynamite or she has a ton of stuff like xp candy dynamax candy witching pieces armor or hp up protein iron calcium zinc carbos anything you need to power up your pokemon but then she also sells premier balls as well as beast balls which again this may be the first time in the pokemon's history where you could actually purchase beast balls i don't know if you can do that in pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon i may be wrong however in pokemon sword and shield you're very limited on how many beast balls you're able to get and this is going to be the first time that you can use an item in game to grant yourself more beast balls so it is 150 dynamite or in in order to grab the beast balls which to me are very expensive you also have the ability capsule which i believe is new for pokemon sword and shield the crown tundra dlc and is a capsule that allows pokemon with two abilities to switch between these abilities when you so again you can choose the ability your pokemon has if they do have two abilities and you prefer the other one and then you also have the ability patch which is a patch that allows a pokemon with a regular ability to have a rare ability so a hidden ability if you know a pokemon has a hidden ability and you have a pokemon that does not have the hidden ability you can give them this patch and they will learn the hidden ability now to me that is insane we're finally being able to give any of our pokemon hidden ability basically giving us the tools to make any pokemon we want if we put the work in and obviously you do need the dynamite or to grab it you need 200 for the ability patch which is i believe it's a lot i'm not too sure i haven't been grinding for the dynamite or in pokemon sword and shield the crown tundra as of yet but if you do grind for it, you can grab yourself an ability patch right here, right in the beginning of the DLC as well, which is again, very convenient and very cool that the Pokemon company thought about just sticking it literally at the beginning of the DLC, giving us access to this very early on, especially because a lot of people probably need this feature and are at the point that they're getting the DLC with a level 100 Pokemon and they want their Pokemon, certain Pokemon to have certain abilities and you are able to just go and grab it right at the start of the game. So I think this is perfect, but let me know what you think about the ability patch, ability castle, and the beast ball in the comment section below. If you're new around here, I answer all comments, so let's have that conversation in the comments. And again, if you are new, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this all the time, talking Pokemon, having discussions, doing guides just like this one. So if you're enjoying the vibes, hit that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button if you found this video helpful. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video into recommended so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people could check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all
all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.